Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony from Tony Teaches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to host your website and your email on two different servers using a WordPress plugin. So let's hop right on into it. Over here, you'll see I have my website up, and if you go to the contact form and try to send a message to me, you'll see right away, and this is kind of odd because I'm sending a message to myself, but it's just for testing purposes. This is just a test. When you go ahead and click, click to send me your message, you'll see that there is an error, and that's okay because that's the point of this video today. I have my website hosted with one hosting company and my email hosted with another, specifically Namecheap. So the way you can configure your email within your WordPress is with a plugin. So let's go into our WordPress dashboard to fix this error. And you'll see over here under the contact forms that we're using the contact form seven plugin. It doesn't say that specifically on the stream, but that's how that all works. Anyway, there is going to be another plugin that we need to use to configure our WordPress email because we don't want to go messing around with our WordPress PHP functions and all that nonsense. So the plugin we want is WordPress mail something or another. It should pop up here. Yep. WordPress mail SMTP by WP form. So let's go ahead and install that now and right away go ahead and activate it. Now you'll see that down here, there's some settings associated with this plugin, so that's what we wanna configure. And the first thing we see here is the from email address. That's already pre-populated for me, Tony at tonyteachestech.com, that's perfect. We'll keep that. The from name, Tony Teaches Tech, that's fine with me. Down here under the mailer section, we wanna change that from the default, which is PHP down here to other SMTP, and you'll see these other configuration options showed down below. Now, the one thing we wanna fill out, well, there's actually multiple things we wanna fill out here, but um, the first thing we wanna fill out here is the SMTP host. In our case, because I said earlier, we are hosting our email on Namecheap, we want the hosting URL for that email server. And for me, that's gonna be premium66.web-hosting.com. Again, this is gonna be different for you. The encryption in my case is SSL and it pre-populates that with port 465, which checks out on my end. We'll leave auto TSL and authentication checked. And the username is going to be your full email address. That's Tony at Tony Teaches Tech. And the password I have on my clipboard, so I'm gonna paste that in there. We'll go ahead and click on save settings. Now, the settings were successfully saved. Yeah, saved. The settings were successfully saved. We want to do an email test. So we're going to send an email to myself from myself. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. So go ahead and click on send email. And it was successfully sent. That is really, really good. That is awesome news. But the true test is going to be when we go back to our contact form. Now, what we just changed was like our global email configuration for WordPress. That should carry over to the contact form, even though that's a different plugin. They all use the same backend email. Um, logic and all that stuff. So let's try this again. So Tony Florida, we're going to send an email from my other email address and my other website. Check that out if you want to, tonyflorida.com. And this is another test. Click here to send me your message. We're getting that little spinny icon. This does not look good. It's usually a lot quicker than that. Oh, it worked. We, uh, we have nothing to worry about. So it just took a little while. Let's double check in the actual email inbox that that worked. The one thing about the way I have my email set up in Gmail is it only checks it once an hour because it's not, you know, a Gmail email address. But you can check it in email if you want to learn how to do that. I'll link that up one of these two corners. If you want to check your email in Gmail. Um, anyway, we'll click this check mail now button. Let's check in the mail. And we should see, I think, yep, two mails fetched, you'll see there. And we got our, let's refresh this. It says two mails fetched. So there's our test email. This is another test. Um, I'm guessing the other one went to spam. Let's go down here and look at the spam. No, it did not go to spam. Where is that other email? Um, that's really weird. Go back to settings and fetch the email one more time to see if we can fix that. But regardless if we can find that other email, it might be lost in the email, you know, dark internet or whatever you want to say. But 
that um, that is not why we made this video today is because we wanted to test out the fact that this contact form is not working. We wanted to make it work by pointing our WordPress website to another email server. And it's really easy as you can see to do with that WordPress plugin. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Please subscribe to this channel for more behind the scenes tech videos like this about WordPress, making your website run fast and all that good stuff. So thanks again guys for watching. My name is Tony Florida. I will see you in the next one.